What we're talking about this week and the main thing is why we do the things that we do. And we do them because we are motivated to do them. There are three sources of motivation. There's external motivation. The things that surround us in this world. Advertising is to motivate you to do stuff. Uh, when I get in the presence of certain people, I'm, uh, I'm motivated to do certain stuff. Then there's internal motivation. We're really going to deal with this next week. We are motivated by certain built-in needs that God built inside of us. And uh, as we seek to fulfill and meet these needs, uh, we are motivated to do it. So we act. And then we're talking about eternal motivation. Uh, the motivation that comes from God. And I want you to understand this, that if you are heavenly minded, you will be earthly good. You know, somebody said, don't be so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. In fact, you're not going to be really good on earth unless you are heavenly minded and receive the motivation that comes from God. Now, how do we keep the fires of motivation going in our lives? All my life, I've watched people go up and down. One minute, they're all motivated towards God and the things of God and uh, it keeps them from doing certain things and makes them do other things because in God's presence, we want to please Him and we want to love Him. And so we are motivated. Hey, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell a lie, although a lie would profit me right now and get me out of some trouble because I've been in the presence of God. The motivation of God, you know, the motivation of a presence. What does the motivation of a policeman on the highway do for you? It makes you drive right. Uh, you see that policeman out there, and the next thing you do is look at your speedometer. That is outward or external motivation. A policeman motivates you to act in a certain way. And uh, uh, children are motivated to act in a certain way when their parents are around. Well, when God's around, we are motivated to act in a certain way. And you see what often happens in the Christian life is this. We do away with the time that we spend with God. We do away with the time that we spend with God. And when we do away with the time we spend from God, we begin to very slowly lo lose the motivation that comes from God. You know, a fire has to be fed. Motivation's really fire inside of a human being. It's the fire that makes him want to do. It's the fire that enables him to do. Well, fires have to be fed. And if the fire goes down, uh, it's because it's not being fed. It's not being given things. Now, if you've got some bad things in your life, uh, some things uh, that you don't want uh, to keep on going, the best way to get rid of them is to starve them. If you can starve something, it's going to die. God has so built everything in this universe that is alive that if it's starved long enough, it'll die. Okay? Uh, if you starve, let's say that you have a bad habit of spending. You read too many catalogs. And uh, you find yourself buying stuff you don't need and putting yourself in debt. Hey, stay away from looking at those things and you won't want them. A catalog is designed to make you want stuff. Quit going to the malls. They're so designed to make you want stuff you don't need. I can work through Home Depot and want to buy stuff that I don't need. I didn't even think about it till I got there and saw it. And I expose myself to it and it makes me want to do it. It motivates me to get stuff whether I need it or not. And so if you want to keep your relationship with God going and going strong and going full, then what you're going to have to do is to give God time and expose yourself to God himself and the motivation that comes from God, his words, his instructions, his hope, his encouragement is going to motivate you to live another day. Remember the manor in the wilderness had to be picked up every day <laughs> or it would go rotten. Every day we need food. Every day we need motivation from God. So keep the main thing the main thing and spend time with God.